Okay, gotta pay attention to the mic because it goes swish swish. Hmm. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to my art vlog. Today is Sunday, January 23rd. No, 1st, yes. But by the time you're watching this, I'll probably be anywhere between Montreal and Florida. <sighs> by the way, I do apologize for the clickbait title. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's kind of true. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving for a month. I'll be away from my place for a month. Uh, my good friend Diane sold her house in Florida and she asked me to accompany her. She's fully aware that I have to work, but I do intend to um, work in the mornings, enjoy our time down there in the afternoon, early evening, and then Hopefully I'll be able to upload overnight. Uh, and I'm just bringing my iPad and my phone. I'm not bringing my computer, of course. I no longer have the uh, laptop. So it's going to be a challenge for me to work from the road. I'm kind of excited about it. I want to see if I can um, be self-sufficient with these tools, which are amazing. I have an iPad Pro, by the way, uh, now, uh, which kind of replaced the uh, laptop that um, my son has now. So anyways, there's no reason for me not to be able to give you content while I'm away, but I'm not promising anything that is regular. Uh, and you've probably noticed that since the 1st of January, I have had a hard time being regular on YouTube. Um, I want to say it's kind of like, it was kind of predictable in a way. Um, I usually go through this after the 12 days of Christmas. It takes me a while to get organized. And then I had stuff that I needed to finalize. That's done. So, uh, and now this trip, which was supposed to happen in March, um, needs to happen now. We were supposed to leave yesterday, but I had problems with the renewal of my passport uh, because when, uh, when she told me that we were definitely going to go, in March, not last Friday, but the Friday before, I went to the passport office to renew my passport and they were guaranteeing me that I would get it back for the 16th of February because my passport was due. Um, and then the same day, she found out that her house had sold and she needed to close on the 9th of February. <laughs> Now it's been pushed back by a week, but regardless, so we needed to leave now because there are some things that she needs to do down there. And so I called the passport office on Monday. They transferred it to some other office to put a rush on it. Apparently they had a glitch in the system. So I didn't have my passport in hand and I had to go and pick it up before this past Friday. So up until Friday afternoon, I, it was touch and go. <laughs> we weren't sure if I would be, um, what day we would be leaving or anyway. So logistics was quite complicated because she did have to reserve hotel rooms because we're going down there by car. Obviously she needs to bring back some stuff. And so everything needed to be timed in such a way. And that stupid passport renewal was delaying everything. Anyways, it all have been sorted out now. And so, yes, I'll be in sunny Florida for a month. It, life is rough. Life is really, really rough. But um, I'm very glad I can do this for her. I'm very glad also that she is offering me this opportunity to be in the sun and, you know, in her company as well. She's a very sweet, nice person. And I know that this girly road trip is going to be fun. Um, I've never been away from my home, uh, for more than two weeks at a time. So this will be a little challenge. I'm very much of a homebody, you know, that I don't go out much. <laughs> so, uh, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about it for that reason. I'm excited, you know, to be and spend time with her and help out as much as I can. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So anyways, okay. sorry, I had to stop there for a bit. I also want to apologize about not having done a live stream on New Year's Eve like I had announced in my last vlog because I ran into some problems and then 
I had to um, attend to some business uh, unexpectedly. So that didn't happen. I still want to do that because, I don't know, I like the fact that I'll be able to put out content and interact with you guys. I really want to do that. Uh, recording videos like this is fun for me, but I also like the interaction um, of a live stream. I think it's just fun. It just makes the experience more lively, <laughs> hence the word live, uh, not only for you, but for me as well. And it does record in, you know, the people that have missed the live show can always watch the recording afterwards. So for me, it's like, you know, killing two birds with one stone and having fun in the process and sharing my art, sharing my process in a different way, in a more interactive way. So I definitely want to do it, but I don't know when it's going to happen. Who knows? Maybe um, this coming month will reveal a whole bunch of experiences. <laughs> so anyways, I have received some happy mail. I've also received, I'm going to show you a postcard, but I also received happy mail from my friend Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Um, but I think I'm going to put that at the end because I recorded this with my other camera and... Although I changed the setting on my iPad, I think there's a tiny bit of uh, delay that might occur. They're both recording at the same frames per second, but I think there's a slight difference with this one. So anyways, I'll put all that at the end and I'll also put show and tell of the pieces that I did to send to um, some people because that's what I was busy with between Christmas and New Year's and right after New Year's. So I will include that in there at the end, just in case. You know, I don't want to have a video that's lagging. I hate that. It bothers me so much when I watch those videos where the lips are moving and the, the words are coming after. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this is a gorgeous postcard that I have. Oh, it's not focusing on it. Focus. There we go. Not even. It won't focus just on the postcard. Please focus. Anyways, um, this is a postcard from my friend Marie-Pierre who has moved to uh, the Czech Republic, but this is uh, from Barcelona. She travels around Europe while she's there, and look at that building. Isn't that gorgeous? This is so inspiring. I love the way the turret is designed here, the colors on the walls, the details on... Uh, please focus... Here, I think you get a better sense of what it looks like. All the detail. It's so beautiful. Merci, Marie-Pierre. Super belle, ta carte. I love that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you the pieces that I have here with me. And as I always say, Instagram is the best place for you to uh, see all that I do because I have... I upload there often. It's the easiest platform for me to do so. But if you're not following me, then I will show you. Uh, yes, I have something in my journal. I forgot. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so what's the story behind this? This was another recycled piece. Uh, it was a watercolor painting that had a face on it, like very very sketchy face. I'm not even sure that I have the photo anymore. I don't even know if I had taken the photo of this, but um, I know the eye is bigger than the rest of her face, but I still love this piece. Um, so what I did is I went over the watercolor I had with colored pencil, one color pencil actually, no actually that's not true, one blue, one indigo and one black. And I created that face and the flowers around it. For some reason, I was inspired to do that. The face that was originally there was, I think I only had like shadows for the nose, the top lip, and the eyes. And it had kind of like a floofy hair about her. And I think the floofy hair inspired these flowers. But I really, really like how it turned out. I also have a, a tiny video on Instagram about this, but uh, yeah, very proud of this one. 
It was so much fun to do. This was hours of fun. <laughs> and you know how I like details. So, And I'm hoping to do a couple of pieces like this when I'm away. Because they're fun. I also showed this piece on Instagram. And that's one of my more organic painting. Not planned at all. This at the bottom is <laughs> something kind of like in between... <laughs> In between a dragon, I guess, and a very badly shaped horse. It's got a tail of a lion. <laughs> no. I'm just like, this for me is painting like doodle with paint, <laughs> I should call it. But it's fun. It's it's a father and son and their sailboat. They're going to sail that, that boat up somewhere. And I like the tree. The tree it, everything is random. Everything is totally random. It's just having fun. You know, sometimes you got to let loose and you got to let the, the painting talk. And that's exactly what I did. I'm going to bring the sketchbook with me on the road for sure. Uh, you've seen the painting that I did for my brother because I showed that in my last vlog. But I reproduced a copy for myself. It's not exactly identical. I had to stop at some point because my brother was getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> but... Um, Anyways, um, I did a video on this, so if you're, if you've missed it, I think my screen is reversed, I think, yeah, I think I would put an eye card somewhere, anyways, you'll see the eye appear, but uh, mine is different than his, uh, I use different colors, but it's essentially the same setup, and I use patty stencils, and I use a couple other stencils as well. And on this one, I'm wearing kind of a weird dress as opposed to shorts because this was inspired from a photo. Um, and it is the story of how n my brother keeps saying that we're or orphans because we lost both our mother and father. But um, I say, no, we're not because they're still looking upon us. That's my mother and father right there. It's um, Aries and... That's uh, Aries and, oh, what is it in English? Libra. Uh, constellations. So, and I've always liked, this is, um, if ink, I have to repeat this in case you haven't watched the process video, but it's essentially a picture that I had of my brother and me uh, when we were young. And it's kind of like reverse, but he has his hand on my back. And uh, I've always liked this picture. So that's the inspiration for this artwork. So now I have one and he has one and I have to frame mine. Um, oh yes, that is the artwork for my patrons for the month of January, which I have to vlog for them right after this and I will draw for that. So this is what is going to go to one of my awesome patrons. Um, this is negative painting. So it started out as um, a bunch of wacky colors in the background. Again, I do have lots and lots of paintings that have never made it to the screen because they were just experiments or they went wrong. And then I added more paint on top of that just to make them even messier so that I could do this type of painting. Uh, there's a strong gold undertone underpainting on that piece so it's quite reflective and that caused a bit of a problem for me uh, but if you're interested in watching the process I'll leave an eye card for to, for you to go check out my patreon feed and that's where you'll find the video but here is the end product of me playing some more whoa this is awfully dark here playing some more with alcohol inks I took a different approach to doodling this time around it's not as loose as my last one, and I loved it. <laughs> I just loved it so, so much. This was fun. So the doodling is done with the same marker that I used previously, the Micro Perm. This is the 03 tip. I think the previous artwork were done with the 01 tip. But um, So that's a large sheet. I bought five huge sheets ah, of Yupo paper, and... Um, <laughs> I recycle all the time because I make so many mistakes both sides of this large sheet were experiments I hated what I produced and I took the the side that had the least 
accidents, <laughs> I want to say. And I did the background, so I kind of like diluted the background with lots. Anyways, you'll see the process video. So, But that's what it is. I really like it. And on the side, I was doing another experiment. This one is not finished, and I'm bringing it on the road with me. So uh, this one will probably find its way in a future video or maybe not a process video, but I'll show some of it, I guess. But that's another style. So... I liked this. It looks like a flower that's kind of open. This is like the bottom of it. And I wanted to preserve that area because I really liked it. And then I played with the colors to add some other flowers. The purple that you see is a continuation of this. So, okay, for those that think that Yupo paper can be totally um, brought back to white with alcohol inks, Take note because on both sides of this, uh, I wasn't able to erase this. And I used, at some point, I was using 99% alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And the blending solution wasn't working well. So it does stain the paper. I think you pull paper can be brought back to white with watercolors. But some colors really stain you pull paper, especially alcohol inks. So just be prepared for that. But yeah, anyways, uh, so this piece is not finished. I just started doodling on it. You can see that I did. I worked on the stem a little bit. I worked, cause I, like I said, I wanna preserve that area. I think it's beautiful, a beautiful combination of color. And I like the way the colors, the, yeah, the different colors and the, the uh, alcohol blended together. It's very smooth. So I want this to be the star, but I'm not sure how to bring it to the foreground. So I started adding those little white dots there, but I'm not sure if they're working. So I'm, I'm experimenting with this, and this is a piece that I'll probably be working on when, um, when I get down there to Florida. Guys, we have 25 hours of driving to do. Of course, we're stopping on the way, but so we're doing one le two legs of 10 hours and then one leg of five. I'm a little nervous because Tuesday they're announcing freezing rain here. Um, so wish us luck, please. Well, it'll be, it'll be too late by the time you're watching this, we're on the road. Anyways, uh, and what else, what else, what else? That's pretty much all that I had to say about that. <laughs> yep, so I'm going on the road, guys. Wish me luck. Um, it's an amazing opportunity that's being offered to me and um, I'm very grateful to my friend that she needs me. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. Um, very grateful for what she's offering me. This is uh, pretty amazing. She has a beautiful house. So uh, I'll, I'm not going to camp out. Okay, so don't feel sorry for me. Uh, and I'm escaping the awful, awful January slash February time of the year here in Montreal. It's pretty bad. We actually this year we're going from super cold to very warm. Today is super warm. And I don't know what is in store for us in February. So I'm kind of glad to be coming back towards the end of February. Very happy about that. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Please be well, and um, like I said, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to present the content to you, but I will. Um, that's my goal. I'm using these weeks to reflect on the type of art I want to do, reflect on how I want to present it to you. Um, also, take some time off. I think I've been working really hard uh, for the past, yeah, four years now. And um, I've never really had a vacation, except for the time that Lucy and Sammy and the girls, um, uh, Heather and uh, Sylvia came over. Um, I didn't really have any time off. I have always managed to work. I mean, the first year I vlogged every day, so that was a lot of work. So I'm hoping that I could take at least a couple of Maybe a week, maybe an entire week to just settle down, relax, and work on art, but with a different intention, just working for to um, 
to please myself. Uh, it sounds very selfish. I hate to do this, but um, I think I need it. And But don't worry. I will have art content. Okay, I'm just babbling. I need to go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Oh, and I will put the the show and tell at the end so um yeah anyways thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below and i will see see you later bye i got happy mail from lucy check out the cute wrapping paper she actually drew <laughs> very cute sorry lucy i have to like rip your paper. I'll make sure to preserve some of it. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness. She always makes like awesome like envelopes. Like her packages are as nice as what's inside. The first time I got something from Lucy she actually made me a beautiful file folder which I have kept all the papers that she sent me in it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh. The attention to detail. Eh? Unbelievable. This is all handmade, of course. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's, oh, that, yeah, it's embossed. Wow. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, let me put this to the side. Oh, my goodness. It's like a goodie packet. Wow. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so, uh, over here we've got some embellishments. Oh, this is so cute. I don't want to open anything. It's just too pretty. We've got Christmas trees. Little birdie. This looks like a ceramic bird. Oh. Okay, I saw a card, so I think I'm going to open the card first. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty. I know she painted that. This looks like a stamp, but the rest... This also looks like a stamp, but she probably carved it herself. To Cece, I hope you have a great festive season and a lovely new year. I miss you so much. Lots of, lots of love, Lucy. Oh, I miss you too, honey. Oh, this is so pretty. I'll put Lucy's link in the description below. I'm sure most of you know her already, but oh. But, uh, oh, oh, pineapples. Oh, it's like a sketchbook slash notebook. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. Okay, I don't want to put it back. And this. Oh, wow, look at that. See what I mean? Like, everything is packaged so nicely. Oh, Oh, napkins. Oh, look at this. So gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> the trees. I love those. Oh, look at that one. So pretty. Wow. Hollies and berries. Oh, and we have tissue paper. Little hearts for Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, there's two. Oh, this is so cute. So we have, oops, oh. There's, oh, it's one sheet, okay. One sheet with different designs. <laughs> I thought they were glued together, but no, this is it. Oh, that is so cool. And then we have this pattern here. Very pretty. I'm going to have to, um, get back into art journaling. I, the bug is kind of like taking me again, so I'm very excited about having new papers. I do like collage. That's so pretty. Oh, honey, thank you so, so much. So much. The card is absolutely beautiful. The packaging is just amazing it's the attention to details with everything that you do it's just so you 
Oh, I don't know how to fold this back. Here. And, I mean, take a look at this. This is unbelievable. And the notebook. Ah, it's so cute. Thank you so, so much. Wow, look at this. And that's, like, if you look at it the other way, I love the Christmas tree. Oh, thank you, Lucy. I sent you a package. I hope you're going to like it. It's not as pretty as this, of course, and it's not as well made as this. Oh, my goodness. Well, I was looking for a sketchbook. Oh, I like the paper inside. It's very porous. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so here are the pieces I wanted to show you. Um, this one is actually a video and I'll put the i card right there so you can go and check that out. I, it's kind of like a broken process which means that I did not feel, film the entire thing but I made sure that each of the steps that I took is kind of like documented. Um, this is about negative painting. I've had a few comments about this. People seem to be confused as to what is negative painting as opposed to regular painting. So in essence, um, negative painting is painting around a shape to um, make it appear as opposed to regular painting. So let me, let me explain to you in probably better terms, but for instance, this flower here, I did not paint the flower. I did not paint the, I did not take that specific color and paint a circle. The color that you're seeing inside the flower is part of the background color. And then what I did is I took a darker color and I painted around all of these shapes that you're seeing. So all the leaves and all the branches and the flowers were actually formed by adding a dark color to the background. Um, I plan on doing more videos on this, so hopefully um, it'll become clearer to some of you, but that's essentially what negative painting means. It means to paint around a shape to form it, as opposed to just painting the actual shape. So I'm quite proud of this piece. It's a recycling, uh, an exercise sheet that I had. I have another piece to do as well, so I might also film that other one. Uh, this was more experimental. I had no I, I did have a little sketch at the beginning. Um, if you watch my video, you'll see that I'm showing you a sketch, but it turned out to be completely different. Maybe just the orientation of the flowers is the same, but you know, as usual, it always turns out differently than what you have planned. And I usually don't plan anything, so this was a rare exception, but I'm really liking this. I really do. It's a lot of fun. I made sure that I left the purple and that turquoise color I had in the background already on the exercise sheet. You can actually see here, there's a little bit of that exercise that I went through. I was just practicing making seaweed and that's all there is to it. And, and um, yeah, anyways, I like it. This next piece is something I did for well, on New Year's Eve. So this one came in rather organically. I laid down the background colors. At that point, I only had something called Quinacridone, uh, Quinacridone Coral by Daniel Smith. So, and it's this color. It's the one that was predominant. There were, there was barely any blue. I let it dry and then I came back later and I added this darkish color to cover. You can still see some of that coral peeking through here, but I laid down uh, indigo and then I tilted my work over and as you know I work on a board I usually tape my paper to a board and I just I like to smash it against my table and I saw these harsh drips not the ones that continue all the way down but these and then when I turned them this way I saw people <laughs> I see things right you know that um, and I did very little to these people i on some of them I added extended arms like that and I kind of added a little bit here and there, but not much. So basically what you're seeing is what I got from the drips. And then I went to bed. And then the next morning, overnight, I remember when I, before I went to bed, I saw the huge moon, uh, which was quite impressive. And then the next morning I looked at my work and there was actually a circle starting to form. Not as strong as this, obviously, but you can see... If you look at it here, 
You can see some of that red that bled inside here. So this is actually the color of the background. So the quinacridone coral was a little bit more darker at the bottom here. And this was light. This is like the original color of the paper. So as soon as I saw that circle, I thought this is perfect. I know where I'm going from that point on. So I actually did negative painting again around that circle. Uh, I balled it, which I'm quite impressed with. <laughs> because it seems to be quite round um, and then I used a little bit of stenciling to create some kind of a ghost city in the background and this is you'll recognize again I, I've used Patty's stencil for this and I also use different ones here uh, this one I believe is by magenta and I think this is a crafters workshop stencil and then I created these uh, I'm not sure why the obsession lately but I am obsessed with mushrooms but more precisely the underside of a mushroom I do love the striations that you see the lines you know so I guess this was inspired by that <laughs> and you can interpret it different ways it could be uh, New Year's Eve fireworks they do look a little bit like fireworks or whatever they're just decorations but I thought it was nice uh, to add to kind of like pick up the color of the moon and, and the framing around it but I just needed something down there and that's why I did it um, this is done okay so everything is done with watercolor and this is done with the uh, Copic opaque white ink and then the last two ones, this is an experiment with gouache, not watercolor gouache though, acrylic gouache, which is something that you cannot reactivate as opposed to watercolor gouache. Um, I needed gouache because I, I did not want to disturb whatever was in the background and I also knew I wanted to add more color around it and on top. As you can see here, I have some faint um, sh uh, shading in the back, uh, not in the back, but around that. And that was done because, and that was possible because I have used gouache for these and around it. So I did not disturb that color, which is awesome. So, but like I said, I'm going to redo a video on this topic in a future date, but I really like this. Again, this is my idea of mushrooms, the, you know, when they're flipped, when they're, they're resting on their tops. <laughs> um, I did do some gold leafing, as you can see here, and for that I use PBO's relief, uh, Mixion relief for that, and I have used the uh, gold, the rose gold sheet that uh, Zandra has sent me. So, and these are all prints that are going to friends, so as gifts. I can see I have some here, but I do love the look of the acrylic gouache over the watercolor, and I do like the fact that you can actually. Uh, do some more watercoloring on top of that and it won't budge so this is pretty awesome pretty awesome anyways so I wanted to record this segment before uh, my vlog so at the time that you're watching this um, they're already gone they're out of my hands not that it matters to you but I wanted to make sure that you got a chance to see them <laughs> 